Hello everybody, this is Val Chasing. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, The Extra Chronicles. In this episode, it's going to be a bit of revenge against a certain... someone. I had trouble with this fight last time, so I... over-prepared, let's just say that. Anyways, a quick look over all of my characters, all seven of them. Yes, I'm... You're gonna see names, so obviously spoilers are abound in every way, shape, and form. Ryan's running heavy because he's... That's really what he's best at with. No gems. Shulk is Shulk. There's really not much else you can really do. Sharla, kind of not a whole lot I can honestly do with what I have. Just keep her HP up and whatnot. Melia is the most interesting one that I've changed up is that she's actually running heavy armor instead. It seems that later on in the game, whenever you get access to heavier armor, Melia seems to work better with it, oddly enough, because her defense is actually close to, like, most every other character. It's really weird. And her ether defense isn't suffering because of a skill she has, too, with it. So it really works well for her, and she gets a good HP boost, too. Dunban, however, eh, still running the heavy agility up set with a little bit of fun in including medium armor instead because since he has ways to reduce his equipment down to basically no weight at all, his agility doesn't suffer, even with medium equipment. Fiora, oh my god, she is broken. With all the speed stuff, she's close to Dunban in agility. If you look at that, I mean, it's only a 20 difference, which is still kind of a lot, but... She's really not going to get hit a lot, and she has a regenerative effect with skills including her double attacks always equaling crits, and crits always giving her HP back. It's kind of crazy. And then we have Ricky, who is really at this point until I got until I can change equipment because I kind of need the Mac Nibbler and all the Magna equipment right now to handle Mac on because that whole that one thing, unless if. Shulk's in the party, and I didn't really want Shulk in the party all the time, because there's no real way to change him, unfortunately. I don't like it. He's kind of... If you're not going to use the Magna equipment, you have to have Shulk in the party. And I... And since he's kind of a one-trick deal, countering... And I mainly use him to counter Spike and annoying auras like Mind Read. That's really all I use them for at this point, is just for those two things, and sometimes heavy damage, but Fiora does that so much better. Anyways, time for the Gatto fight. I'm just gonna skip this cutscene or whatever, it's not a big deal. I, you've already seen it. So, skipping it. Anyways, it's not the first part that I had trouble with, this part's easy. Anyways. Make sure Ryan has the aggro because Ryan kind of needs it, so heavy damage. There we go. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Stop attacking. Freaking. Just let him go for it. Yep. And see, much quicker than last time. I'm going to try to skip as many spoilers as possible in this one at least, but hey. Like I said, you gotta keep the aggro on Ryan, though with Shulk it's very difficult to do it. And I know worthless and chance is worthless, but it's really what I gotta do. Oh, right, uh, that problem. And I need, I need to change that up, but I don't really use Ryan enough sometimes. Oh, dang it. Anyways, encourage, and then get blown away. Probably should get a way to reduce the uh, blowback, or at least for Ryan. Oh well. So, I at least know how to, I know how to use every character, basically. Fjord's to the point where I don't even need to use arts. It's actually detrimental. It's really weird. Now let's go with the change tag. Keep the aggro. Uh, yeah, as you see, as you can tell, I took off Battle Soul because I hate that ability. I think these 
where you actually have pretty good affinity with each other. It's near max. So, I mean, it's a little weird, like, not getting anything more than three attacks. I was about to say. Grant Spike. Come on. See, now I'm just resisting it all. It's interesting. Ooh, thank you for the orb bullet. Just gotta get that slow residual damage. It'd be nice if you could actually inflict, if you could actually put Spike on yourself a bit more often, rather than like an aura or two, just like being barely adding anything. Anyways, I'm basically just damaging it with everything I can at the moment. So that's all I need to do. Anyways, I meant to do this fight a long time ago. As you can see, much easier this time around. No real issue. And just gonna skip stuff. So anyways, this was the Revenge episodes against Gatto. I'm going to show you one more thing because it's relevant. How did I get up to that high level at this point of the game? Well, Garplane is actually the way... It's actually Garplane. Now, I don't know if I can actually go to Garplane at this point. If I can't, I'll just go do something else. Uh, let's see here. Well, I meant to go to Bionis Leg, but whatever. Anyways, so around here, you can either go, there's two ways. The way I did it was go through here, and there's those bunnies, well, the bunnets, that you can eat, that you can probably take out, use, you gotta have a pretty support heavy set using someone, you're pretty much gonna need Dunban to be a tank, because Ryan's not gonna be able to hit anything, and he's not gonna generate aggro. So Dunban's gonna be taking the hits, uh, I would use Melia for defense boosting and anyone else you want for damage. Fiora, Shulk, or Charlotte if you really want to like be more supportive heavy. Another way you can go through is Windy Cave and it's kind of the same deal just except the you go after the Royal Caterpiles I think and the Wild Vangs. Those things you can take out at level 70, high 60s pretty easily. And then after you get about to the mid-70s, you go over here and take out the goggles, or the sloths or something like that. The sloth-like enemies that are like right here, they're like nearly level... They're high level... They're high level 70s, I think? I don't remember off the top of my head. Anyways, that's where I go. That's where I went to grind up anything for that, so... Just to let you know, and the episode against Gatto is over. Since everything else is nothing with Gatto or anything like that. So, in the meantime, this is Final Chase saying, see you guys later. Next episodes will be getting the fifth skill trees. I'm going to go for all the characters. The earliest ones possible are going to be Shulk, Dunban, and Melia, I believe. The other ones are going to be difficult. So, until then, see you guys later.